Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be uh, having a second session of the data science interview questions. So in this, uh, I'll be covering two different uh, set of questions. One will be in Python and the other will, will be in uh, either machine learning or uh, related to uh, deep learning. So the very first question is, uh, if you have used Python 2, and uh, if you are now using python 3 so the interviewer might ask you what is the difference between python 2 and python 3 so what essentially are the differences some of the differences uh, will be uh, seen or when you have experienced while typing some of the expressions or syntaxes that is very common so uh, with that we'll have the very first difference that is with the print statement or in python you uh, don't have a function as in so you just write the keyword print and then whatever you have to uh, print onto the console or to the screen you'll just write it so that is just print hello while in python 3 it is just a function you put in a parenthesis and inside that you write whatever value or whatever text you want to print onto the console or screen so that is a very uh, low level difference or which is very common or everyone might know about this the second uh, difference is the integer division or the way how integer division happens in both python 2 as well as in python 3 in python 2 if you observe when you divide two integers uh, the resultant that you get is an integer itself okay so if it is 5 divided by 2 you will get the answer as 2 and not 2.5 so if you want 2.5 as the answer that is in float that is only possible in python 3 then the next difference is the unicode so in python 2 uh, to store unicode string values you require to define it with uh, a forward slash and with u so that it represents that it is a string character or it's a unicode character so but in python 3 the default storing of strings is in unicode in itself so you need not worry about writing that so that is the very minute difference between the syntaxes uh, when you use python 2 and python 3 then the next and the most important one of the difference that is seen in python 2 and python 3 which is related to some of the functions and internals when you actually work or when you have little more experience in this uh, versions you will see that there is a difference in their callable types now what is that actually so in python 2 when you have certain functions like map function or range function in order to uh, do some uh, iterative activities one after the other in for loop usually you write that so the resultant you get out of that or of that operation what you obtain is a list of objects where in python 3 if you observe it returns an iterator Say for example, if you are writing a uh, program uh, to generate Fibonacci series. So in that, if you know, uh, you use the concept of uh, generators and then in order to print the next elements, you usually use the next uh, function and then you do it. So the resultant of that, so there also you have a range function. So the output of that particular activity or that particular process is an iterator so that essentially is uh, one of the most important difference uh, when you look into python 2 and python 3 if you know there are any other differences so let me know in the comment section so with this let's move on to uh, one of the data science uh, question so what is the uh, difference or why softmax activation is not used at the hidden layers in general so this is a deep learning question so you can think and you can write in the comment section below why it is not used so uh, 
it is not that it's not used at the hidden layers it can be used but there is a specific reason for this why it is not used if you want to know a very simple answer a short answer that i can give is short short max uh, at hidden layer decreases the accuracy and the speed of learning so if the interviewer is not convinced about this so then you can give a very detailed answer by saying something like this so if softmax is employed at the uh, hidden layer it will cause something called as variable independence so what happens due to this is your nodes which are there they will be linearly dependent so why do we use a activation function in deep learning in order to introduce the concept of non linearity okay so that was the problem of your simple perceptron everything was linearly classified so in order to have a non linear uh, behavior or non linear decision boundary you introduced activation function and if you don't have that functionality then what is the use of that so due to this it leads to poor generalization which leads to lower test accuracy and sometimes it may uh, result for overfitting and you require a lot of regularization l1 and l2 regularization as we have seen in the previous interview questions and so it requires to keep these variables independent uncorrelated and quite sparse not very dense so sometimes it can also result in training issues uh, due to which the speed of training becomes very very low if you want to make the network perform better by employing softmax at the hidden layer then all the activations from the hidden layer are expressed as lower so uh, due to which what happens is like your average activation on all the previous uh, layers which are there so if you have 100 layers and if at all the uh, 100 hidden layers you are employing softmax function then it might uh, increase the error what you get at the end and might harm your training phase okay so due to which it reduces the expressive power of your models your model whatever at the end would be so obviously deep learning models are very black box models so you need to give explanation of each and everything uh, like why these many hidden layers or why these many nodes or uh, why these many connections so if at all if you are putting hidden layers uh, or softmax at these places then uh, overall will reduce the expressive power of your model so it's not that you cannot use softmax at hidden layers you can use but due to all these reasons it is avoided or it's not advised to keep uh, softmax at the hidden layers but it's only used at the uh, output layer so it will give you classification that is 0 1 2 or if it's a multi class problem it will work in that scenario so well that was all regarding uh data science interview question part 2 hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thanks a lot for your attention